Boy YRG coming at you with another video. Sorry it's been a long time since I posted a video. I'm gonna try to start this YouTube channel again. And I didn't know how exactly to do it until something came in the mail today that I ordered the other day. So, a new game came out on the phone, Call of Duty Mobile. And I've been playing it. I've tried to play it on my iPad, but this thing's just too large. Don't mind the smudges on the screen. I need to clean this. It's kind of gross. <laughs> and I tried playing on my phone, and sometimes this is too cramped. Or sometimes you don't get like the right, you don't have the right grip for the game. Um, but I stumbled upon some mobile controllers on Amazon and I ended up picking up this one. This one is by GameSir. It's called the F2. And essentially this gives you a grip for your phone and two triggers that you can use. So we're going to open this up and see, see what it's like. This is my first, actually no, this is not my first unboxing on this channel. Um... I did an unboxing, it was my first ever video on this channel. If you guys have not seen it, you guys are from the Fortnite scene, you guys have not seen my unboxing. I did an unboxing on my Razor Blade laptop years ago, so take off this. It comes in a nice um, polyurethane container. Polyurethane? <laughs> Is that the right word? And. Here we have the grips. It's act this is actually nice because it's kind of portable. So um, you can actually fold the grips into each other or um, store them like this. And then it also comes with the triggers, which come in a nice little box. This only retailed for um, I believe $11.99. So only 12 bucks, I believe. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to go purchase it. So, um, I'm not affiliated with Amazon, it's just a regular old link. But if you guys want to check it out after you guys see the review, go ahead and check it out. Oh my, this actually feels very high quality. The triggers themselves, made of metal. You got this nice clear plastic if this focuses on the camera. Focus. Alright, you've got this nice clear plastic. It actually feels, feels very high quality just from feeling it. The triggers are nice. You can already tell that it will do well. So you get a nice container for your grips or for your triggers. And then for the grips, they come in this. I've So, looks like um, they come out as such. And then these are supposed to, I believe, fold out. I don't exactly know. I haven't looked at the directions. Okay, so that's how you do it. So they store like this. You um, you pull it up and swing it over. And then you do the same thing for this side, looks like. And then these two attach to each other somehow. Should have probably read the instructions. Actually, no, it just goes like this. It's like it just goes like this. And this has some some adjustment so can actually do that I don't know if this fits with the phone case so we're gonna try it with the phone case and we'll try the grips with the phone case since most of you guys probably have protection for your phone we're gonna try loading this in here oh actually it fits I I would assume this would fit a majority of phones I only have an iPhone 10 so the only thing is I'm trying to do this on camera, so it's probably not the best way to do it on camera. Actually, this feels really nice. It fits with the phone case. I don't fit. It feels very secure. And does it have any extra give? It does look like it has extra give. So if you have a larger size phone, you can fit it inside this, um, inside these grips. So we're going to try putting these grips on next. Looks like you just um, unclasp it here. So it widens up there. And then you just put it on the back of your phone and clasp it in the back as such.
So, yeah, this actually feels really nice. Um, I'm going to get this set up on my phone, and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, we got the game loaded up here. Um, the main thing to do, once you're in your custom control settings, is to move your ADS and your fire beneath the triggers. So once you have those there, you can actually shoot. So you can see, um, these are the size of the buttons there, but you can actually actuate the buttons with your left and right triggers. So once you do that, make sure all your other settings are customized. I had to do like a trial and error, so everything else is set to help my, to my liking, and we're going to try to hop into a game right now and see how it is. This feels exactly like a controller. Some of these things have joysticks on the side, but then again, I'm not even sure if you need a joystick really. Um, we're gonna select this 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 gun here. Man, this is one of my favorite maps. I recall Duty Modern Warfare. Your COD 4. The first Modern Warfare, not the new one that's coming out. Yeah, this is very hard to play through a viewfinder, so. And I just died. <laughs> it's alright. So this is actually not on the button itself. So I need to move this further over. Okay, there we go. We're good now. Oh, I didn't kill him? How did I not kill that man? You guys are probably seeing a larger screen because I'm recording the game footage as well. But it's definitely not the easiest plan through a viewfinder. Ah. This makes it a lot easier to play. More comfortable, so you could play this for hours this way, I feel. Ah. <laughs> I'm like viewing off, uh, drifting off the viewfinder because I'm trying to actually play by looking at the screen, but I'm not sure if it's in the shot at the same time. And of course, low power mode. <laughs> well, we still got him anyways. Oh my gosh. This man. It's actually really easy to shoot hip to hip fire in this game. So yeah, once you guys get the gist of it, you should be able to own anybody that you're playing against. What? I put my knife button there. It, didn't, it wasn't, wasn't working. Anyways, you guys get the gist. This is the game, sir, F2. Link's going to be down in the description. If you guys are interested, leave a like on this video. Subscribe because there's going to be many more videos. I can do some Call of Duty mobile videos. Um, I stream Fortnite pretty much every day. We're going to be trying to upload more videos to YouTube. In the meantime, stay cool, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace.